If you choose to use Dewalt power tools, these are the latest models of battery you can use. The price of one battery can be from 80 euro up to 200 depending on the capacity. So today I want to present you an alternative which can help you make a battery for less than half price. This is a kit from which you can build a Dewalt battery yourself. It has all the things you will need except of some wires. These ones are too short. Nickel strip, BMS, battery level indicator, the case and the cell support. So this kit will require 20 cells. I'm going to use 10 of these cells with 2500 milliamp capacity. And I'm going to solder two cells in parallel and five in series, which will result in 20 volts max. With some safety glasses on, just center this square nickel strip like so. Continue with the series and the parallel in the same time. All right, that's how it looks like. Here is the positive, here is the negative. We've got 21 volts. I made the wires longer. The BMS will stay over here and the wires will go like so. If you look closely on the BMS, and you can see it's written the voltage which needs to be connected on the wire. So the bottom one will be connected to the main positive terminal. Then you've got 12 volts, then 4, then 8 volts, 16 and the minus. The blue wire is 16 volts. Right, so here is the main positive. And over here it's supposed to be 16 volts or 17. So this wire will go over here. All right, now the sense wires are on. The last wires needed are the main positive and the main negative terminal. So I'm going to connect it on the interior. There we go. That looks like a solid soldering as well. Has to go somewhere like here. There we go. Now I can measure the positive one make it more shorter. Next, I install the battery level indicator. I solder the wire on the back side. This little board has an indentation which goes like so. Then you've got this button which goes on top. Then I've got this spring which is kind of important because it will press the lock. That spring will push the little plastic outwards in order to catch the tool on the connection side. Before finally closing the case, I'm going to test it up. And as you can see, it works. Now, the final step is to install the box. I will try to mind as much as I can the wires. Now I'm gonna close the case. Alright guys, that was it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.